a sweet mango yogurt cooler, which is kind of like saying a yo uh, saying a, a smoothie, right? I love Me too. And in India, that's the country that we're kind of talking about a little bit tonight. India, they they use a lot of the mango. Apparently, they like mango. So it says. The mango is the national fruit of India. I didn't know that until I, did, until I learned this recipe. And it's also the national fruit of Pakistan and the Philippines. So, so I thought we would just look at a, a little map to see where, here's their flag. See a picture of their flag? Yeah. And then let me show you a little map that shows the country of India. Right. And it's it's a it's a part part of Asia, correct? I believe that's right. Because it involves this Lisa's geography, but I'm pretty sure that's right. Hi. Right. And what's your first name, huh? I'm sorry, you moved on me. I was like, wait a minute, she was over there. And your name, huh? Isabel. Why don't you guys go over there and do, would you guys scoot over and make two spots for them so they can be in our circle? You know one thing that's so nice about circles opposed to like sitting at tables or being in rows. Everybody can see everybody. And it's, I think it's more engaging in a way, you know, like I can see you, you can see me. All right, so anyway, that's a, we're not gonna do a bunch about India because I don't really know that much about India to tell you the truth. But, so tonight, we are, the main skill we're doing tonight is learning how to chop, peel and chop a mango. That's gonna be our most challenging thing tonight, okay? So, if you notice right here on the front of your recipe card that are on your tables, it, it shows you how to do it. But I'm gonna kind of help you get started with it. So we're gonna peel the mango first. We're not gonna eat the skin, okay? Actually, did you know the skin on most fruits and vegetables is probably part of the most nutritious part of the whole thing? But some skin on like, vegetables. Like the skin stuff. Sort of, but you know, like apples, like it's better to eat the peeling of an apple I know some of you don't like that, but um, but sometimes fruits and vegetables, the skin's too tough and you can't eat it, right? But that's where a lot of the good nutrition is the skin. But we're gonna peel ours because our recipe tells us to. Then, what, I've got two on each table. So since there are gonna be four people at a table, I want, I want you to sort of partner up in pairs. And somebody will, will cut it in half. One of you will chop one half, and the other partner will chop the other half, okay? So don't be a mango hog and do the whole thing yourself. Make sure that you're working with a partner, okay? You'll be outside the mango. Then you're gonna take your knife carefully and make long and sort of incision strips one way. Then you're gonna go back and go the other way. Okay, to help to make your dices, little dices, okay? Then we're gonna put, we're gonna put in our, into our containers, which are our like blender containers. See, they're on the table, see them there? We're just gonna put this stuff right in the blender containers instead of putting it in a bowl and then have to transfer it, okay? So we're gonna place our, um, our, our yogurt, which is on the table. And you're gonna, you're gonna measure the yogurt tonight. You're gonna do the measuring, okay? Now, it tells you, your recipe on the back tells you how much to do, so you, I know you can read, but make sure that you use the correct measuring cup. So it calls for two cups of plain yogurt. So you're gonna find the one cup measuring cup, which everybody has one at their, at their, at their de uh, table. And you're gonna need two cups total in each thing, okay? And then you're gonna need one cup of chopped mango. So after you chop it, we, don't, we may not need the whole thing you chop, okay? But if there's leftover, we'll eat it. How's that? Or you can eat it. But let's measure first to make sure we at least have one cup of chopped mango for each blender container, right? For each table. <laughs> and then a few ice cubes, which we have. We'll add the ice cubes to the blender. And then one, only one tablespoon of sugar. Now, who could tell me the difference between, if you're looking at your measuring spoons, how do you know which one is a teaspoon versus a tablespoon? Let's see. The teacher's supposed to wait five seconds before they pick something. <laughs> I learned that a long time ago. All right, what do you think? Um, I think that the, the tablespoon is a bigger one because that's um, 
Yes, that's right. It is bigger than a teaspoon, but how will you to make sure that you've selected the right one? Even because you know they're all different sizes. What would you think, sir? Um, just tiny little like um, numbers that says like um, inches, numbers like one and a half, two and a half. Right, and and, it, it, and tell me what the letters are going to be for tablespoon. Tablespoon. T B S. Exactly. Make sure that you don't accidentally put. It's not that crucial with sugar, but let's say, we, if, what if we were using salt or something else that was really spicy? We went on to make sure we have the right measuring tool, right? Because what, what if it called for a fourth a cup, or excuse me, a fourth a teaspoon of cayenne pepper and you accidentally put a tablespoon in? Ah, your tongue would burn off. Okay, so one tablespoon, it'll say T-B-S, not T-S-P. T-S-P would be teaspoon, but tis. My daughter used to say, one teaspoon. All right, so we'll put our yogurt in, then our mango, then our ice, then our sugar. We are not using this extra optional thing called mango essence, kind of like an extract. We're not using that, okay? So forget that part. And then then you will, and when you're done, you're gonna work together, remember? You're gonna work together. You're gonna bring your, your container over to our lovely volunteers, Sophie and Lily, and then they will actually be running the blenders, okay? All right, now one more thing before I assign you to your tables. Um, the blender container has a sharp blade in the bottom, right? So you shouldn't need to put your hand down in there, right? There's no reason for you to stick your hand clear in the bottom while you're putting ingredients in. Just dump them in, okay? So I'm gonna use this as an example. You guys can, I'll let you take it over in a minute, but let me just get you started, okay? Now. Your mango, you're gonna put it, you're gonna keep it on your mat in front of you, okay? And you, like I said, you're gonna have a partner. So one person's gonna start, and then after they do, get, or get it cut in half, then the other person can take over the other half. Make sense? But I'm gonna show you a little bit. Remember how when we cut, see how my thumb's like that? So grip your knife, when you cut, you're gonna put the point down first. And you're gonna press down. Your finger, your other hand, your fingers are gonna be curved out of the way because you don't wanna cut your fingers off, right? So it's gonna be kind of like this, do you see? My fingers are gonna be like that. They're not gonna be like this, okay? So get your fingers, make sure you always pay attention to where your fin other fingers are in your other hand, okay? So you, I'm gonna start over here. I'm gonna just start and make a little cut in the top of the mango. Now, to peel it, it's different than chopping it, right? To peel it, you have to sort of hang on to it underneath. So this part's different. I'll take my knife and I try to keep my thumb out of, keep your thumb way ahead of your knife, see that? My thumb's leading the way. And I'm just kind of slowly going like that. And look, look at that pretty mango. <laughs> okay, so we have to be very careful with this part. Keep it, grab it here, but make sure you go real slow. Keep your fingers away from, keep your thumb. See that? Keep your thumb away from that blade and press down, okay? We'll come around to help you if you need assistance. So go ahead and start. Now, after you get it peeled, we're going to slice it in half. There's a pit in there. So you're going to try to slice around it. And See if you can do that, Jack. Here, hold it with one hand. That's your hand. And then we're going to try to cut it in half. Oh, I'm going to try to Now you're going to have to kind of rotate it a little bit. So you want to have to kind of take your knife and go like this. Score it. Now you're going to have to cut it down. Until you get to the. Because see, then the problem is, if I want to talk to you, I have to shush you all the time. And I don't want to do that, so just don't talk, okay? If you were in a real cooking class in some fancy store, they would not be, you would be jabbered away, wouldn't you? All right. So now, I know it's keep so, pushing down. So now once it's peeled, you're going to kind of score it like this. There you go. Shh. I do not want to have to keep shushing you. Please be quiet and you will get instruction. 
So what I'm doing now, I'm cutting it in half. Look at me for a second. There's a pin in there, a C, so you can't cut through the whole thing. But I'm scoring it almost as if I'm trying to cut through it. See how I'm doing that? So I'm scoring it all the way around. And then I'm going to have you make long straight lines going one way. And then the other person can cut it across the other way. See, so long lines and then across. And then we'll be able to get our mango off and sort of dice it. Okay, make sense? So make some long marks and then make some cross marks the other way. So make the rest of the the way I did. Long marks first and then cross. I made them go that way. Make the rest of the way. You're cutting the mango. You're trying to get the mango off. Okay. Do you need me to finish it? Put it down. Put it down. There you go. Push down. Keep your fingers out of the way. There you go. Perfect. Okay, that's good. Now let's give the knife to your sister. Rachel, did you see what she did? Did you see how she... There's still another piece on the knife. Did you see how she made the lines? Can you do that? Cut making all these lines so that... Oh, good, you got it. All right. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, guys. Don't just stop and look at it. We're limited on our time, okay? Keep going. And if you need your neighbor to take over, she can do so. You're okay. That's what we want. No, turn it and do it that way. Keep going, guys. This is like cutting peaches. Their peaches are really slippery too. So now you have these little pieces. Did you see what I did? You can do a couple ways. You can take your knife if you're careful and kind of scoop it up with your knife. You know, did you hear what she said? You can use your knife. If you're careful. But yeah. And then you're gonna, they're gonna, he's gonna add some of that. Okay, you have your chocolate. I want you to just take it from him and do it, okay? All right, how are we doing with our mango? Ready? Okay, let you take your recipe card so you can see what it says. Okay. So look at your recipe card. It says place the yogurt. Place the yogurt, the mango, and your ice and sugar in your blender. So let's start with our mango just because we've already got that chunk. Okay, that's too much. So put your mango pieces in the blender. Take some of it. Take some of it. Oh, there okay. you go. Right you do there. that. Three, just put it in. Okay. Nice. Okay, can you dump this in there? Use the spoon to scrape it out. We don't, no, we're not talking about you. You guys find the one tablespoon. Can you get the spoon if you need it? that you'll be very careful with it. You won't drop it. You won't leave it in the, don't leave it in the library. 
I don't want to find mango smoothie in the stacks, okay? Because last time I found some stuff that you left out there. Take it right with you after you clean up. We're not quite ready. You have to do a little cleanup first, okay? Or you have to leave early. Yes. That's all right. Go ahead and I'm going to bring a Lily. Would you bring the roll the trash can around? She's going to come around with the big trash can. Watch, watch Miss Lisa. I want you to pick up your mat and then you're going to carefully kind of bend it like that and dump it into the trash can. Okay, not on the floor, please. Thank you. All right, here she comes. Get ready. The need scrap.